Hi. Um, once again, I'm going to be going over uh, another step in the character pipeline process that we have here at Ragtag Studio. This part of the process is the importing sprites into Blender to rig um, and set up the sprite sheet. So this step happens after painting the character in Krita, exporting that character from the GIMP uh, as individual sprites and positional data. And now we're going to import those sprites and their positions into Blender. Okay. So I'm going to start by using Blender's built-in images as planes importer. Make sure to check the use alpha. Uh, for my purposes, I want the, uh, the sprites to be um, self-illuminated. And I'm going to set their scale to be 112 pixels per Blender unit. And that's the same scale as we're using in Unity. So I'm going to select all of the parts these I can show you. Um, That's what they look like in Windows. I'm going to hit the import button, and here we go. All of the parts are now imported, and we have to arrange them using the script that I have here. This is my sprite utilities panel. I have a number of different tools that I created to help me use um, or help me manage the sprites and to rig them. So I'm just going to press this button here, position sprites, and you can see that it arranged all of my sprites in the proper position. I'm going to quickly move the back side sprites by selecting them and moving them to a new layer. And you can see that the dog is in uh, the correct position. It's a cr all the parts are in the correct position. And you can look and see from the top view that all the sprites are positioned correctly in the Z depth. Uh, you can see that the two head sprites, um, they're Z fighting, and that's because they're on the same Z depth, but that doesn't matter because they'll never be showing at the same time. They're just uh, positions of animation, animated frames. All right. Now I'm going to save this. objects in that file that I need to make sure not to grab. Once over. I want to uncheck active layer because I want those um, these sprite objects to be imported onto the layers that I put them on. appears that it did not <laughs> do what I wanted it to do. Let's see, where are my objects gone to? Uh -huh. Alright, well, it put them on to... Oh, I see, I did put them on the wrong layer to begin with. But luckily they're still selected. And here we go. So now I have them in the rig file, and you can see 
well, the rig superimposed on the model, the sprite model, that all of the parts now uh, are aligned to the model and the joint sprites or the joint locators that I just used to get to the position um, are in the correct position on the rig. So, um, a couple more things I'll just kind of go over since we're here. I'm going to save this. Um, this is a dog that I already have set up using the script. Um, and this will be the, the, uh, the character that I'm actually going to be animating. Um, that other dog will just be a skin and we'll get the animation, the same animation that this dog has. Um, I'll just show you quickly. Um, the side panel here is how I animate uh, the sprites turning on and off. So uh, I can uh, If I animate these values, I can switch from front back uh, on the head here. I can get um, the head to bark. So I animate these values on and off. And you'll see as I scroll the animation, those effects of that animation. Here we go, here's uh, the, bot, the dog biting, and you can see the animation of his head. He has three frames of animation. Sprite animation, that is, but you know, with the uh, skeleton, we get a lot more of a range. Looks like he's got a lot more. So that is how uh, that works. Thanks for joining me. I hope this wasn't too much of a ramble. Have a good night. Bye.